Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C square. In this example here we're gonna look to find the coterminal angles. In fact, which angles are coterminal here? Coterminal angle means they have the same terminal sides, right? So let's take a look to this 150. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add 360, right? If you want to find coterminal angles, one thing you can do is add 360. And if you add here, what do we get? We have 510. This means these two angles are coterminal angles. Very simple. Add 360. Can I add one more time? And the answer is yes. If you add one more time 360 to 510, what do we get? 870. Which is this guy? Yeah, these three angles are coterminal. That's it. But can I subtract 360? Yeah, that is the other thing you can do to subtract 360 or multiple of 360. Let me let me say that. And if we subtract 360 here, we get negative 2, 10, which is this guy. These four angles are co-terminal angles. The only one that is not co-terminal is 450. Well, again, how do we find co-terminal angle? angle? By adding 360 or multiple of 360. I'm going to write it in this format. All right, adding 360 or multiple of 360 and can be any number, positive or negative. If you have a negative, obviously you subtract, which is the other story. Right? Subtract 360 or subtract multiple of 360 degrees. And that's the way you can get what we call co-terminal and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.